right away. Imagine your future differently with Capella University. South Central Los Angeles Regional Center is looking for dynamic individuals to serve the disability community. Join our team. Please visit our job fair on April 20th. We're accepting walk-ins from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Just bring your resume to 2500 Southwestern Avenue in Los Angeles and dress to impress. We provide very competitive salaries and great benefits. For job listings and to learn more about our rewarding careers, please visit sclarc.org. Count on CarPros for a stress-free car buying experience with transparent pricing and great offers like this one. Lease a new 2024 Kia Forte LXS with payments of just $189 per month. Visit us, CarPros Kia Huntington Beach. Um, she got that dress with the extra money she saved using our brand new grocery outlet app. It's been really fun seeing what everyone's doing with the extra money they saved. Nice shirt. Just got back from vacation. Super nice guy. I gotta start using the app. Track your savings. Download our app. Grocery outlet, bargain market. Monday, you could see Mariah Carey live in Vegas. Several chances to win starting at 6 a.m. Monday on the KTLA 5 Morning News. Right now at 10, parents outraged after a teacher allegedly attacks a 7th grader at a local school. The alarming audio of the altercation captured by another student. And this morning, a woman recalling being beaten nearly to death following a brutal attack along the famed Venice Canals. Good morning, everyone. I'm Erin Myers here in Malibu. More rain is on the way, so there are concerns about landslides. And there will also be a high surf advisory in place. All the details coming up. And you heard it, we're expecting rain, mountain snow, and gusty winds this weekend. But then a warm-up's on the way. We're going to talk about all that coming up. And Andy, nice of you to join us. Thank you. Today. Good morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, she thought she was being a sly slacker, but her boss could not be bested. A woman was fired after her productivity software ratted on her for being very unproductive. I'll have the details as soon as I finish the script I only just started working on. Good Saturday morning, everyone. Welcome to the KTLA Morning News at 10 a.m. It's our final hour. I'm Megan Tellis. And I'm Lauren Lister. We thank you so much for being with us on this Saturday morning where we yeah. do have some rain in the forecast. You do have some time for errands, and you can get it all in watching another hour of the news. Right, Casey? Yes. I know. And also, don't... I made that up. Is that true? I'm Did trying to, like, hour? time out if I can actually, like, get in a run before it starts raining after work. So, um, it's going to be cutting it close, though. Uh, we're seeing windy conditions from our Morongo Casino camera outside right now. Clear skies, though, for those inland sections. Everyone else, though, as you can see here, cloudy. LAX, 60 degrees, uh, 58 in Burbank right now. It's 62 in Santa Ana and 58 degrees in Ontario. And here's the rain that is coming. Again, by late this afternoon into early this evening, we will see some heavy rain moving through the area and then we'll get a nice break and then tomorrow afternoon we are going to see round two of this rain moving in temperatures today we're going to be below average for everyone again 63 for riverside 54 will be the high in big bear today 62 in palmdale 61 in oxnard and 61 in santa monica and now to aaron myers who is live for us in malibu as we await the rain i see the winds picking up and i know uh, they are watching some hillsides there or hillsides rather very closely Hi, Casey. Good morning. There was a landslide here last month uh, in Topanga Canyon Boulevard. You can see is still closed here at PCH. Uh, along with the rain, there also is a high surf advisory that's going to go into effect tomorrow. Uh, that will be in place for beaches in Malibu, L.A. County, and Ventura County. And will start at 9 in the morning and end at 9 at night on Sunday. Now, we could see large breaking waves from 4 to 7 feet with the potential for dangerous rip currents as well, leading to an increased risk of drowning. Breaking waves can also cause injury, washing people off the beach or rocks, even capsizing small boats. It's best to stay out of the water unless you are an experienced swimmer. If you are going to be in the water, be near a lifeguard tower, that's recommended. As for the rain, we could see it a little later today and tomorrow, as Casey's been saying. We could get up to an inch of rain in coastal and valley areas and even more in the foothills and mountains. Also a chance of thunderstorms and these strong winds. It's getting windy out here in Malibu now. Mountain snow as low as 4,000 feet could be seen as well. We spoke with Brian, who says he's actually ready for a break from the rain. I, I, think, I think we do need a break, though. 
for sure. Rain. Yeah, we do need a break though. We need we need some sun, you know. We need <laughs> that ready? we need that sunlight. We need that energy right now. We're about to go hit this. We're about to go hit that hike right now. So. All right. So you guys starting to get it in early before the rain starts? Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. And with this rain, there is a possibility of mud and rock slides on canyon roads as well. Currently, the bottom half of Topanga Canyon Boulevard is still closed due to a landslide that happened in March during heavy rains. It sent rocks and dirt onto the roadway. So once again, that is a concern with this new rain expected. Now back here live, it's not known exactly when Topanga Canyon Boulevard will open back up again. Caltrans is telling us that it is still an active landslide. Reporting live here in Malibu, I'm Erin Myers. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Looks chilly and windy. Erin, thank you. Now to this. A man accused of savagely beating and sexually assaulting two women in separate attacks near the canals of Venice has now been arrested. One of the women, nearly beaten to death, is speaking out about the brutality of the attack. Mary Klein, you see her there. She was walking near her home around 10.30 at night when a man suddenly ambushed her from behind. She was immediately dazed and knocked to the ground as the suspect repeatedly punched her face. The brutal attack left Mary with severe injuries, including fractures to her jaw, broken teeth, a large gash on the back of her head, and multiple contusions. Her family is calling for justice. I want predators and violent attackers